Right, everyone. Wildcat here, and uh, we're over here in the new province. And of course, with my regular guys, I'm doing it with. I screwed up, and uh, I didn't realize it till I had completed the mission. It said mission complete. And I was like, oh man. So I didn't, I didn't get to record the mission. So I'm up here with my backup unit, uh, and I'm gonna do this mission. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to show here was that with my regular guys, they're on a level of 30. These guys are only on a level of 23. Uh, and the other thing with these guys, as you can see on the map here, that with my other ones, of course, I've got all these three Skull Provinces are completed. Uh, so these guys are a little bit behind in as far as their... Uh, skill level that they have right they're not as uh, don't have as much skill level as what my other guys have as well so but I just wanted to point that out to show that even though these guys are lesser than my other guys there's still no problem to go ahead and and do this with uh, this is a skulls uh, level four uh, this one we're doing so anyways uh, enough blabbering let's get on with the show Rosario village has been turned into a cartel prison camp Search the warden's office for intel on the prisoners who've been held there. It might sure give us a lead on the disappearances. Up here. All right, so what actually happened to me the first time around is I was going after one of those... Uh, Guys in a car oh, that give you information. The just put up a wall and turn the whole village into a prison. What's the play? Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. So what happened was, is I when we finally got the car stopped. Of course, he wasn't anywhere near the base when we started. That was just where we finally got him to stop. You know, I got out and grabbed them. And then all of a sudden they got detected, then they started shooting Sniper mortars there. at us. <laughs> and, you know, destroyed the helicopter and I was running for my life. Uh, so then what happened is I ended up coming into the base. And, uh, you know, I uh, take the mortar out and, you know, took everybody out in the base. And I just went, well, see, now I'm here. I might as well grab the file. Uh, thinking that it was we just the Sicario. intel Tell file. There. Next to the food but it happened to be the mission, so I was like, "Oh well, great! I'll have to come up here with my other crew that's not as experienced and uh, do the mission." So, marking a tango. He's close to that local. And again, like I really don't want to shoot him because he's right out in the middle of nowhere. He'll get spotted real quick. So, there's probably a guy in that gun. There's probably a guy in that one as well. Um, so just taking a little bit of time, you know, looking things over, getting who I can. I believe this one has a jammer on it. I think. I might be wrong though. You end up doing so many missions, you kind of start forgetting, especially when you're doing things over Jordan's again. Up. Okay, no, there isn't a jammer here. Well, I got let's a third see if there's a guy in here because I got him up. Yes, there is. And again, one with some machine guns. if you get spotted, then it would be a good thing to release those guys because they'll help there's you. There's a Sicario over here by the camp entrance. If you don't get spotted, then I don't recommend releasing them until you clear the base out because, of course, they will start a fight with them and that gets you on the hunting list. Yeah, the artillery here is over there. Fucking mortar. Or mortar. I keep wanting to call it artillery. I don't know why. You know, it's the same with the minigun. I keep wanting to call it a Gatling gun. I'm just. <laughs> Eyes on a gun turret. Yeah, I guess for those of you that watch my videos, you'll, you'll kind of. We'll get used to it and understand. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff picked out there. Looks like we got a guy around right below us here. Is he walking on the road? Oh, we got two guys right up there above us. Yo, wow. two cartel gunmen. Over there, near that crate of comp gear. Well, I'm surprised that they uh, didn't see us. 
Come here. Oh, come on. Like, how many walls, rocks do we got to have get in our way? The way these two are walking, I can probably get them with one press of the trigger. Man. Okay, we're still all right. All right, I wonder... Nah. I don't think that would be worthy to... Oops, I always forget you can't zoom the scope on these things. Oh, come on. How far away is this guy anyways? Yeah, it's not even going to tell me. Oops, sorry man, you can't see him uh, properly, you know, with the, where he was. Oh, come on, I was right behind the pole. Oops. Oh, oh get out. I got two Sicarios next to that crate that, of here. I tell you, man, that is one thing that amazes me, is these guys that are in these things. Uh, you know, like the snipers up in the towers and stuff. It's amazing how... Like, there he goes, right behind the pole again, you know? <laughs> they're always behind the pole. Almost doesn't seem to matter what kind of weapon. angle you get on them. They almost always seem to be behind a friggin' pole. Right, chemo there, let's try it. Ah, there we go. bit missed we were just being for a little bit of excitement um, the other time when I was here doing this too it was at night time so uh, I you know took the took the Jenny out and but of course now this is daytime so that ain't gonna taking the Jenny out really ain't gonna matter eyes on the Jenny want to shut off their lights that guy's in the back that brings us to the head There's another one. That's ten. We're cool. We're cool. Check your targets. We got civilians all over. I got that guy. Well, he gets to die a few minutes from now. It's not a question of whether he's gonna die, it's just a question of when. <laughs> oh, he shoots through the screen too, but you know what? I, I can also fail. <laughs> so. Just like trying to do that can fail we're too. Good, we're good. I don't know how many times I've blown it trying to do that one. <laughs> Oh, if that guy wasn't walking, I would have shot with someone, but he was walking, so I was a little iffy on it. All right. Through the year. We're right the in the head. Oh, this thing can be good. Dang it. I'm opening fire. Okay, we get spotted, so might as well let these guys out, because they will help. Uh oh, I forgot about that alarm. Well, let's get rid of the artillery. Artillery. <laughs> let's get rid of the mortar. Also, I love calling this artillery. Shit. Get down. This gun should be able to go through that metal. Sniper. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm not just gonna tell me about that sniper already. I was going to say, I thought I got down, rid of him. <laughs> I got rid of that artillery, but... Yeah, the guy got back in there again. Helicopters. Yep, so not much I can do about it. 
here, buddy. Chew on that. Get some. <laughs> there you go. That ends the artillery or mortar, I should say. Mortar. Got it. This is alarm going on. I guess I could put this on tap and get the shot first. That's what they call it. Alright, let's get rid of this helicopter. The sniper rifle will do a lot more damage to the helicopter than the uh, regular machine gun does. Oh, of course! <laughs> Halo's finished. I right, hear buddy have a grenade. Frag out. See you think of that one. It's quite a Oh, well, that was cool. I walked right through that wire. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're not getting too low on ammo yet. Well, once again, this didn't quite go the way I was anticipating. You know, it's got spotted there. And But, you know, um, I think you say a lot of times, especially with bases this size, you can see this base is pretty big. Like, it's all down here. It's all up there. Uh, so usually when you hit bases this big, uh, usually you get detected at some point. We got a PC over here. There's a record of the prison's inmates. It's here. No time to be choosy. We'll download every document. Download started. Stay alert, people. Download complete. Let's exfil and get the data to Bowman. Hopefully there's something here we can use. All right, so now we have to get out of here. So what I'm gonna do is I think I can go this way. Uh, I'm going to try and get some height, maybe drop some artillery on these suckers. Because, uh... Come on, lay down. Okay. Let's see where this comes up. There we go, right in Call here. the rebels for some indirect fire. We got me. Fire for effect. Out. The other guy was gonna come up around or try to come up around. Alright, they're gonna be hooped. Surprised they didn't get that guy. Those two the way over there is understandable, but um yeah, what the heck, let's just get out of here this way. Come on. Yeah. Let them in here this way, but it's not going to let them out that way. Unbelievable. Alright, let's just uh, get out of here. Grab a truck and the gate should open. I'll drive. Hopefully it'll close before those guys get up to it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that is a mission accomplished. Uh, usually as soon as it says mission's complete, I usually end the video, but I just thought this go around, maybe just let the, I'll fly. you know, do it right from start to finish. I'm on, let's go. All righty, so, uh, I'll be back to my other crew and we'll be off to doing another mission in here. A Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows. All right, so it looks We're like coming up with a journalist's last known location. <clears throat>
Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. So it looks like the bad guys are all down over there. But it wouldn't be the first time I ever come up on a town that looked like there was no bad guys in it. And then you land and all of a sudden there's 30 of them show up. You can do it now? Hola, camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. You need to get the Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Hand in hermanos. Alright, so it looks like we'll have to follow these guys. Eyes up. We got hostiles in the area. Let's see where they're going here. Alright, so they're going down into this oh, base, oh, obviously. Heads up, hostile presence. Got eyes and a sniper. Looks like they're feeling froggy. They know we're here. You guys ready? Fire. Roger that. There's a cartel uh, commendation here. Uh, uh, I see oh, you fucking son of a bitch. Like I said, they won't let you just climb up and stand on the wall. They just make you jump over. Got him. He's down. This is not even locked anymore. <laughs> you could have left. That's one oh, of those bad guys. Gotta go talk to her first. Gracias. Fucking hell, it's good to be free. You the journalist? Me llamo Lupe Vera. But I don't know if I'll stay with journalism after this shit. To whom do I owe my rescue? We're working with Pakatari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. Wow, this is, uh... Pretty close safe house to the camp, eh? God. No, I should have just went up the road. That's what I was gonna do. You know, I would take the motorbike if she'd ride with you, but she won't, so... <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably tell you you left her behind. It's not just San Mateo, you know? People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents, and then send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the missing people? Los desaparecidos? That includes every priest or journalist who said a bad word against the cartel. Every student, bus driver, laundry woman, anyone they think might be against them. That's not just the drug war. That's a story. Damn right it is. It has to be. If Bolivians knew a tenth of the murders that the cartel and Unidad have committed, there would be rioting in the streets. The rebels would have people flooding the ranks. Hell, the rest of the world might even care. The hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. Oh, I forgot. You gotta be standing in the right way, right spot. Okay, where to go now? Well, maybe to her again. It's not hard to guess that Los Desaparecidos, the disappeared, have all been murdered. I've got notes on some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route, its schedule? Nothing specific. Oye amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. 
I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. That does turn out to be a bit of a long mission. What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds, who need answers to what happened to their loved ones. When we get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios. And gracias. Well. You should find that truck. That's what I thought they were going to have us go and do now, is go, go get that truck or find the truck, but... Anyways, that mission ends, so we'll carry on to the next mission. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet...